Hello everyone. Okay, so what I have here is um, everything set up for the Little Pouring Art Family collaboration, which when you are watching this, it'll be on Sunday, July 11th. Um, the collaboration was selected by um, Becky Hardwick. Thank you so much, Becky, for um, picking this collaboration. And I'm looking forward to doing it. I haven't done this um, yet, so I'm pretty excited about it. So what Becky chose was using a 16 by 20 canvas. We will use white for the base and also for the layers of what we're doing. We're gonna be using gray, metallic gold, and a color of our choice. And the pour that we're doing is the marbling effect. Now, if anybody, um, or if any of you are subscribed to the Massey Boys, you would have seen actually Jeremy do a couple of these. Um, and so that's kind of who I am channeling today is sweet Jeremy from the Massey Boys. Um, so hopefully I can do this as well as he did. So I thank everybody for joining us for this collaboration. Below in the description box will be all the participants. There are 13 total. Uh, some have YouTube channels, some have social media. Um, so those who have just social media will be posting pictures on their Facebook page or on the Little Pouring Art Family Facebook page. And then those that have a YouTube channel are posting their videos at 12 p.m their own time so whatever time zone there are they are in is when they will post their video so okay let's I'll show you the colors that I have I'll show you this first I saw Jeremy do this as well <laughs> my pen has a lot of paint on it but what I did is I heated up the end of the pen be careful when you do that of course because I used a torch you probably could use a lighter too that might be a little bit safer <laughs> Um, to get it hot so it goes into the cup easy. So what's going to happen, whoops, I'm going to do a um, flip cup and I'm going to pull this out so it just kind of like floats around a little bit on the canvas. Um, so that's what I'm going to do and I really loved this idea. I'm like, that's really cool because I know if you've seen any of my videos before, you've seen where I've tried to puncture the top um, and usually can get it if I heat it up really well. but sometimes I end up squeezing the cup and so this is a really cool idea so um, thank you Jeremy <laughs> um, so I got that from him so the colors I have are obviously like I said white for the base and I kind of have these mixed uh, more of a thicker consistency um, I do a lot of Dutch pours so you're probably used to that so my metallic gold here is actually a combination of Modern Masters, um, Modern Masters Gold Rush, and then um, to this I added 24 karat gold, so it's a pretty color. And then I just mixed a gray color. I just used black and white and just mixed it to it got to the gray that I wanted for this pour. And then I made a custom color here, which is burgundy. Um, so this will be this. I'm looking forward to this color. I hope it works the way that I'm thinking. So it'll, it'll give it a nice, nice contrast a little bit. So my challenge <laughs> will be not putting too much colored paint in this because I know that's key is not putting too much in that. If you watched Jeremy's video, um, he barely just drizzled color and it's like what you, you think that wouldn't work but worked out beautiful he had beautiful results so anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get started I am gonna put just a very thin um, white base down just for my paint to be able to glide over just a little bit easier um, and this is just my Dutch pour consistency and it's gonna be a really thin layer I'm gonna blow it out so it's just thin and not really any paint sitting on the canvas but like I said that way I just am able to move the paint around a lot easier so I'm gonna speed um, some of this up for you and I will check in with you at the end of 
the video. Enjoy! Watching out for number one You gotta slow down Look around you, son Today is just today And not tomorrow Where you're going You can rest your head Where you're going Driving down the road that I grew up on once again It's when I pass your door the memories come back again Okay guys, here it is. What do you think? I love it. I think it's so pretty. It's so soft and subtle. Like, I love the burgundy in it. You can see the gold, you know, not prominent, but it's there. You can see it and you can see the gray. I just love it. It's so pretty. It's so soft and pretty. Oh, I love it. All right. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Throw me a comment below. Let me know what you think. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel also if you haven't already. Uh, hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. And um, you'll be notified when I post my next video. Make sure to please go in my description box and go to some of the other artists, or go to all of the other artists, please, and show them some love for me. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. 
Okay, I'm gonna bring you down for a close-up. I'm gonna clean up my sides first real quick and bring you down for a close-up. And I hope that you join me again and come hang out with me for the next video. All right, guys, till next time. Bye. And we started up a band in my garage. We thought our dream would take us so far. But after a week or so, it all just fell apart. But we were higher than the ceiling, middle fingers to the sky. I remember thinking if I only could stop the time right now, way back when we didn't care what they said. People could stare, I didn't give a damn, cause I was being next to you. Way back when we didn't care what they said, people could stare, I didn't give a damn, cause all I need.